Hi. Welcome to our Quick Byte series. We are releasing Quick Byte videos to grab knowledge on specific concepts within a few minutes. This video is about homeowner's insurance premium calculation. Rating engine, rating processor, rating file, or rating table, these are the terms you would have heard if you were working in the insurance policy administration project of property and casualty insurance. Sometimes, it may be an unknown area to understand what is happening inside the rating unless you work in premium calculation or are an actuary. Each insurance carrier has its own algorithm and rating factors to calculate premiums. This quick bite video is all about providing an example and sample algorithm to explain the concept of how rating works. This rating algorithm is not specific to any insurance carrier or any COTS product. Examples are given just for you to understand. Let us jump into the content. As you may be aware, to get a quote for homeowner's insurance, a customer would have provided the necessary details through an application, phone call, digital means, or online mode. The insurer may also collect additional details if needed. The insurer needs risk-related details like location, construction, coverage needed by the insured, deductible opted for, etc. Let us assume an example scenario where these details are collected. We assume that whoever watches the video can understand basic insurance terminologies. If you are not understanding these terminologies, we suggest you join our formal course on the insurance domain at www.insu.com. What you are seeing here is a sample of information gathered for homeowner's insurance. In this scenario, a customer wants to insure his house for $115,000 US dollars. He lives in a location that is classified as Territory 4 as per underwriting guidelines. Usually, the territory is identified through the zip code. It is a frame-constructed house. Construction classification is usually collected for homeowner's insurance. Either it can be masonry, frame construction, or another type of construction. The fire protection class is determined based on the information gathered. The fire protection class is determined based on the community's fire fighting capabilities like access to water and fire department quality in that location as well as the availability of equipment, fire alarms, and communication systems. This house is classified as fire protection class 6. The insured opted for a deductible of $500. It is a new home. The insured has not opted for any additional coverage and he does not have any additional policies with the same insurance carrier. These are the pieces of information typically needed for an insurance rating. You are seeing here the rating tables, which are relevant to our scenario that we discussed in our previous slide. Rating tables contain rating factors that are used for premium calculations. Based on the information gathered for homeowner's insurance, the rating factor is picked up from these tables. I am using the term table here, but it may differ from system to system and organization to organization. Even this can be stored in a simple Excel sheet. The concept is that we need various categories of rating factors to perform the calculation, and these are stored in different segments. In a database world, we can say that it is stored in tables. Let us look at each table and understand the purpose. This will help you to connect with the data gathered for homeowner's insurance. We have seen this in our previous slide. A base rate is required for all policies. The amount of insurance rate table lists the rating factors that need to be selected based on the value of insurance. We have mentioned the territory of home in our previous slide based on the location. This table helps in picking the rating factor based on territory. An insurer may give various discounts based on the product. This table specifies the percentage discount provided by the insurer. In our previous slide, we mentioned the amount of deductible selected by the insured. From this table, the relevant factor for the deductible is selected. The next table is about fire protection classes. Based on the fire protection class, the relevant factor is selected. 
This table is used to select the rating factor based on the underwriting tier or segment. The next table specifies the factors needed for increased liability coverage. If the insured opted for increased liability coverage, then this table should be used. The homeowner's policy covers jewelry up to a specified limit. If the insured opted for an increased jewelry limit, then the factors used in this table have to be picked up for rating. The last one is a policy fee. Typically, the policy fee is charged per policy. This is a brief example of how our rating tables are constructed. To reiterate again, this may differ from organization to organization, but you can understand what a rating factor is in examples of rating segments using the rating tables here. On this slide, you can view a sample algorithm for calculation. We need to select the rating factors as required by this algorithm and apply this formula to calculate the premium. On the left side, you are seeing the formula, and on the right side, the information gathered that should be used. I am just reading out the formula. As per the algorithm, all peril base rates are to be multiplied by amount of insurance factor multiplied by territory factor multiplied by protection class and construction factor multiplied by underwriting factor, multiplied by deductible factor, multiplied by 1 minus the new home discount, multiplied by 1 minus the policy discount, multiplied by increased liability rate plus a policy fee. For discounts you may be wondering why it is mentioned as 1 minus. For example if $100 is premium and insurer is providing 20% discount. It means it is $80. This is mentioned as $100 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.20 equals $80. Let us pick the rating factor from tables as per this algorithm in our next slide. With the information gathered and the algorithm we have seen, let us identify the factors required for calculation. Base rate is required for all policies. Amount of insurance, $115,000 for which the rating factor is 0.75. Territory is 4 as per location, and the rating factor is 1.0. Protection class is 6 and construction is masonry, hence selecting 1.10 as the factor. The underwriting tier is B, and the corresponding rating factor is 1.20. The deductible is $500, and the rating factor is 0.95. The house is a new home. Hence, a 20% discount is applicable. Since it is a new home, no claim-free discount might be applicable. The insured doesn't have any other policies with the same insurer, hence, no multi-policy discount is applicable. There is no increased jewelry coverage, hence, it is not applicable. There are no increased liability slash medical limits, hence, that table is not applicable. There is a policy fee of $75 that is applied to all policies. We will use all these factors and apply the algorithm to calculate the premium amount. With the rating factor selected, let us do the calculation for premium. In the table you can see all the factors are mapped against the algorithm parameters. Now let us calculate. The net premium is $426 after rounding. So now you understand how the application and underwriting information is used in rating, how the rating factors are structured, the selection of rating factors, and how to apply algorithms to calculate the premium. As a summary of what we have learned, let us look at the rating calculation process. The carrier may be using a rating processor or rating files or factors are stored in policy administration itself. Whatever the system's capabilities, the process we have provided here is applicable for personal lines. From the application information and other data gathered during the underwriting process, the information needed for a rating is identified. Once the parameter is identified, the relevant rating factor is fetched using the rating tables. Then an appropriate algorithm is selected based on line of business, product, and state. Using the algorithm, a premium calculation is performed, and the net payable premium is calculated. This is the last slide in this video. You have now learned how rating factors are identified, how the data collected during the application and underwriting processes is used for rating, 
what a rating formula looks like, and how the premium is calculated. As a summary, you have understood the components of the rating process. Thank you for watching the Quick Bite series. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and provide a thumbs up if you like this video. Visit our website www.insuwu.com for formal courses and certification.